Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to have a little look back at how things went in 2020 <laughs> and plans I had for 2021. I did this video last year right at the end of 2019 and yeah things didn't go how we planned in any way at all. So I don't have a great deal to talk about from 2020 but I do have a few notes. So I read 111 books in 2020 which was a little bit less than I'd been reading recently. My page count was down as well but honestly there was chunks of last year. Reading wasn't exactly forefront on my mind. I read a total of 42,464 pages which was down by about 6,000 from the year before but my average page had gone up slightly to 383. I think it was about 378 the year before so that's not too bad but obviously there was a lot of distractions in 2020. On my reading spreadsheet I put a line in March when we went into lockdown just to see before and after and honestly I wasn't expecting to still be in this situation at the end of the year but here we are. Looking back over my reading spreadsheet as well it feels like those books that I read before the lockdown was a completely different year and I was looking back thinking oh yeah I actually read those in the same year. It's been a very weird reading experience I've got to admit. I didn't read a huge number of really long books in the end. It was more about just reading what I felt like I wanted to read. So I read nine books that were over 600 pages last year and I didn't do a big read book reading month again. I had thought about doing one but it was it was more than I wanted to tackle in a month. The longest book I did read was Rhythm of War and I've seen different page counts for different editions. Amazon says that the UK Kindle edition is 1395 pages and it's, it is a long book. It's a very very long book. Goodreads said something different, the US edition is something different but it's, it's well over a thousand pages anyway. And that's the longest book that I've read in a couple of years. I did complete some of the challenges I set myself. I always set a to be read challenge and last year I set myself books that I'd purchased before 2017 which is when I set my reading spreadsheet up. I managed to completely get rid of all books that I'd purchased before 2017. Deleting that column was very satisfying. Either I read them all or I started them and put them on the donate pile but it's done now. We're now in 2017 purchases for this year. Also completed my reread challenge. Ten of the books I really enjoyed and two of the books, it was a duology, I did not finish the first one so both books have just been added to the donate pile. I've set myself challenges again for this year. I still haven't finished reading The Culture. I was hoping to get that done this year, it just didn't quite end up happening. But what I did do that I enjoyed was I had a science fiction masterworks specific reading month and that was actually a lot of fun. There are no real reading events like in 2019. I barely did any shopping which is really quite depressing. My little challenge that I do to myself, there weren't any hell is going on next door? One of the challenges that I sort of set myself that isn't an official challenge is having fewer books on my TBR at the end of the year than I started with. 2020 I started the year on the 1st of January with 149 books on my to be read pile. That went up to 155 at the point of the first lockdown. Because the shops have been shut intermittently through the year, charity shop, I don't think I've been into a charity shop since March and I've been into Waterstones twice since March. It's, it's gone down to 102 books so my TBR pile has shrunk significantly and more than it normally does in a year. So looking forward to 2021 I've decided I'm going to be gentle with everything. I'm not going to set myself anything too strict and or plot too much for myself. Um, so 
I also have a reread and TBR challenge for 2021 as I always do that's easy to fit in and it's not extra reading or extra tasks or anything I'm planning on doing those again this year I would like to complete reading the culture I actually only have two books left I can see them here it's surface detail and the hydrogen sonata I have those they're sat on my shelf they are chunky books but they are there waiting to be read I would also like to complete the Codex Alira series it's six books long so it's not too bad I read the first book in 2020 as part of my TBR challenge I've since read book two and loved that just as much I have books three and five on 2021's TBR challenge because of when I bought the books so I need to buy books four and six at some point so I can complete them as for my TBR pile I usually say that I would like to end the year with fewer books than I started with I'm not so bothered about that this year because my TBR is already lower than it normally is I like having a large variety of books to choose from the only thing I would like to say is my TBR pile currently fits on the narrow bookcase in my library and I would like it to stay fitting on the narrow bookcase in my library that's the only condition I'm going to set for my TBR pile this year so those are all the things that I'm setting myself for 2021 it's going to be a gentle year of challenges because well where we are in the world so if you have any plans for this year's reading I would love to know thanks for watching and I shall see you all soon